From the world's largest gold mine, found on the top of a mountain, to the largest diamond mine in Siberia, here are the most massive mines in the world. But first, thanks Stan for leaving us this comment. We're glad you've been watching us each and every day. Let us know in the comment section which mine you think is the most interesting and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 11, the Whole Russ Mahoning Iron Mine. The largest open pit iron mine in the United States is 1.5 miles wide by 3.5 miles long and can be as deep as 600 feet. This is located in the state of Minnesota and it's believed that it produced as much as one-fourth of all the iron ore used by the U.S. for World War I and II. The mine was first established in 1892 and it started off as a deep underground mine, but eventually it seemed to be a better choice to build an open pit mine since so much of the ore was scattered. It almost looks like a man-made version of the Grand Canyon as the iron turns a reddish-brown color when it's exposed to oxygen. New cities were built to accommodate the workers here, and the mine rapidly expanded as iron is used for steel to construct skyscrapers, weaponry, buildings, bridges, airports, stadiums, you name it. It's believed that an estimated 690 million tons of iron were removed from this open pit mine when it was operational. Today, it stands as a National Historic Site. Number 10, the Berkeley Pit. This giant hole in the ground in Butte, Montana used to be a thriving copper mine, but now it's filled with extremely toxic chemicals. It's about a half mile in diameter and approximately 1,780 feet deep. Not only is it one of the biggest mines in the world, it's also one of the most dangerous. About 900 feet is filled with acidic water that has the same pH level as lemon juice. Industrial chemicals such as copper, arsenic, cadmium, zinc, and sulfur are all found in this pit. The water level of this lake is slowly beginning to rise from groundwater as well as rainfall and there almost seems to be no solution to fix it. Some residents in the nearby town are beginning to worry that one day the lake will overflow and spew into the streets. This unique toxic waste pit has actually become somewhat of a tourist attraction and people pay a small fee to take a look at it from the viewing platform. Drinking any of the water found here could slowly and painfully corrode your body from the inside out. Not pleasant. The lake is surrounded with a barbed wire fence for the safety of the public. Number 9. The Kalgoorlie Mine in Australia Producing 800,000 ounces of gold per year, this is the largest gold mine in Australia and is commonly referred to as the Super Pit. In case you were wondering how much that'd be worth, here's a number of American dollars 800,000 ounces of gold is worth. Yeah, it's a pretty big number. This is located in the remote Australian outback in the western part of the country, and it's so big it can be seen from space. The super pit almost looks as if it's bigger than the actual city next to it. They originally considered a small number of underground mines, but there was just so much gold, they just had to build a massive pit that will likely be on the surface of the earth for eternity. In order to get all the gold out, an estimated 15 million tons of rock is moved from the mine each year. In 1989, the super pit we see today was created, and eventually it was acquired by the Barrick Gold Company in 2001. The ore is crushed to remove impure particles of other minerals such as pyrite and telluride in a smelter outside of Kalgoorlie. Number 8. The Chuki Kamada Copper Mine Also known as Chuki Mine for short, this massive copper pit is the largest copper pit mine by volume and only the second deepest after another one we'll get to later. Located in the country of Chile, far north of the capital of Santiago, the full-scale copper mining operation began here in 1952 and continued to expand. At one point in time, it produced 5.6% of the world's copper supply and is a major export of the country of Chile. This gigantic mine measures 2.6 miles and can reach 2,788 feet deep in some places. There seems to be a never-ending supply of copper here, and there has been discussions of trans transferring operations underground where there's an estimated 1.7 billion tons of more copper. With copper providing a more important role in electronics, we can certainly see this becoming an ever more prosperous source of natural resources in the years to come. Number 7. Black Thunder Coal Mine Possibly the largest coal mine in the world, the Thunder Basin Coal Mine is located in Wyoming, and you can tell from the aerial view that Google Maps offers that the land around it seems like it's been blown to smithereens. There's quite a few strange trails leading to nowhere, it seems like. There's still a massive coal mining operation going on here, despite the trend of not using coal as much in the 21st century. 
In 2010, Black Thunder dug up an estimated 115 million tons of coal, which was about a 30% increase from 2009. The mine opened in 1977, which is still relatively new compared to other mines we've mentioned on this list. Number 6. The Grassberg Mine Located in the highest mountain in Papua New Guinea, is not only the world's largest gold mine, but the third largest copper mine in the world and a decent producer of silver as well. It has a total workforce of 19,500 workers. Does Grossberg sound like an Indonesian name to you? No. That's because it's run by a corporation and not by Papua New Guineans. There's been a lot of environmental concern over this mine, considering the fact that it's on top of a mountain and rainfall can lead to contamination of areas at the bottom of the mine. Some people feel as though the mine is not nearly as profitable to the people of Papua New Guinea as it should be, and all it really does is pollute their land. This produced 862,000 ounces of gold in 2012, meaning easily over a billion dollars. And only a minuscule fraction of that is given to the workers. Number 5. Asbestos Mine Canada Also known as the Jeffrey Mine, it's located in Asbestos, Quebec, and it was in operation until 2012. It's a whopping 2 kilometers wide and 370 meters deep. Check out this thing on Google Maps and you can tell how completely massive it truly is. It's by far the largest asbestos mine in the world. For a long period of time, people would use this mineral to put in their walls and keep their homes from catching on fire. But recently, there's been a link with asbestos and a disease called mesothelioma, which is a lung condition. This is a toxic substance that people should avoid, so obviously, this large mine went out of business. The small town that grew with a thriving asbestos industry kind of feels like they've lost their identity once the mine closed. But people still do live here. Number 4. MacArthur River Uranium Mine in case you were wondering which mine produces the most uranium in the world, that would be of course the MacArthur River Uranium Mine in Saskatchewan, Canada. This huge deposit was found in 1988 and finally a mining operation took place in 1997 when it began producing what's known as yellow cake. It's not the kind of yellow cake you'd eat with your grandparents, no. This stuff has a horrific odor, and basically what it is, is concentrated uranium powder. This powder can then be used for powering nuclear reactors. Reimagine this powdery substance is going to be quite difficult to get a hold of. There aren't a ton of photos of this place, but it does produce about 13% of the global uranium production. Number 3. The Diavik Diamond Mine In case you were thinking all the big mines were found in Africa, think again. The Diavik Diamond Mine is found in the Northwest Territories of Canada, and it's one of the largest producers of diamonds in the Northern Hemisphere. This place is actually pretty crazy. They annually produce 7 million carats of diamonds each year, and you better believe it's not easy to get here. The Diavik Mine is found north of the Arctic Circle, and it's definitely cold. This photo here shows a sub-Arctic landscape that surrounds a diamond mine. You thought getting to work in the morning was tough for you? Imagine trying to get to work here. Just recently, in 2015, this diamond produced what was known as the Diavik Foxfire 187.7, which is one of the largest rough gem quality diamonds ever found. Number 2. Siberian Diamond Mine Also known as the Murney Mine, the USSR began searching for ways to make themselves a more economically stable and independent union. In 1955, the Soviets discovered a large diamond deposit at this site in the faraway lands of Siberia, and many people got to work very quickly in order to bring in wealth for the union. After about 20 years of operations, they finally decided to move underground. At one point in time, this mine produced 10 million carats of diamonds each year and reached a max depth of 524 meters or around 1700 feet. This makes it the second largest excavated hole in the world. This mine is so deep that airspace is closed over the hole due to helicopter crashes caused by the downward flow of air. The construction of this in the frigid conditions of Siberia must have been grueling and downright cruel. Sources state that machinery used at this mine had to be covered at night or it would freeze. It's not operational today, but some claim that there's still a bunch of diamonds in this mine and the whole thing could be worth about $12 billion. It's possible that controlling this diamond mine is crucial for controlling the price of diamonds across the world. Number 1. The Bingham Copper Mine the Bingham Copper Mine, located near Salt Lake City, Utah, is home to the biggest pit in the world and it's been in operation since 1903. It's about 2.5 miles wide, and if it were a stadium, it would be able to fit an estimated 9.5 million people. Diligent workers can move about 250,000 tons of rock each day, and it's even become a tourist attraction in recent years before a massive landslide took place. Some believe that this was the biggest non-volcanic landslide to take place in North America in modern history. 
This photo we see here shows you the aftermath of this massive landslide at Bingham Copper Mine, and it makes you wonder how safe some of the conditions at these mines truly are. The landslides were so massive that they actually triggered a few small earthquakes. Experts estimated that 165 tons of earth slid down from the top of the mine all the way to the bottom. So which one did you think was the most mysterious? Let us know in the comments section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video.